everybody. Welcome to another episode of Shave and Talk. Welcome back if you have visited my channel before and you're a subscriber. If you are new to my channel, this is the first time you see. My name is Robert. I make shave videos, honing videos, sharpening videos, motorcycle videos, all kinds of cool content. Everything in the playlists uh, on my channel categorized perfectly for you guys to find what you need. I make how-to videos, tutorials, all kinds of videos, live videos, giveaways. So today in Shave and Talk, we are going to be talking about testing the edge of a stray razor. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about how we test the edge throughout and uh, but I want this one to be interactive. I want you guys to comment below. Tell me how do you test it? How do you test it at the at the one K level? How do you test it? You know throughout and how do you test it? What's your favorite test method to know if this blade is shave ready? So I already uh, pre uh, prepared my face. I'm gonna get. Uh, my face moisturize and we're gonna start with shaving but before I do that today we're gonna be shaving with stubble trouble uh, I don't think Adam is making uh, uh, this soap anymore or any soaps but this is up and Adam and this soap is amazing this is a coffee uh, uh, soap and it has vanilla bean on it it's just perfect and we are going to be combining it with Phoenix PAA uh, Spring Hill Jack this is this is awesome is even caffeinated so this is fantastic great combo we're gonna be using this here Puma this one was the one in the live feed uh, where I set the bevel and then uh, I think on the Karasu I finished this Racer right here or on, on the Suku. My last two or three videos, but you've seen this one. Um, fantastic edge. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I already tested the edge on this one and I was, my battery died and it was a mess. So I couldn't record it. I just completely shaved. So this is the, save, the second shave from that blade and let's get to it. I'll be right back. All right. For brush, we're gonna be using an NV uh, Badger brush. Love this one. It has a nice heft to it. It's aluminum, and uh, the Badger is fantastic. I'm gonna be loading this one up like I mean it. So if you haven't seen any of the series of the Shave and Talk, check out the playlist. In this series, we just bring subject, all kinds of different subjects, EDC, guns, whiskey, all kinds of stuff like that, whatever is in my mind and I want to talk about. But I seen the subject on how to taste, uh, test racers. And so I wanted to bring that one up because I see a lot of people get hanged up on a testing method. Man, perhaps they haven't tested or tried using another method. So this for me is the best method to see if a racer is shave ready. Try it on your face. take this hat off boom so I'm gonna go the opposite way shave ready how do we know a shave ready The shave test is the best answer, right? Um, 
You have to try it. Not everybody's hair is the same or whiskers. Some have thicker whiskers. So the best way to test it, for me, the true way, is shaving with it. Now, don't get me wrong, when you are honing, um, how do you know when to stop, right? How do you know that it's ready for your face? A lot of people use the hanging hair test. If you're not familiar with this test, It's a very simple test and involves a hanging hair. So you take a hair and, and see how that blade cuts it. So now, don't get me wrong, don't misunderstand. I think the test is valid. And for those that are using it and love the test, good on you. There is like different ways to measure, like there's a HAT hanging hair test, one, two, three, four, whatever. If the hair goes and it bounces, if it clings and all this stuff, right? I'm gonna rinse this off. Let's go for a second pass. What I recommend is whatever test that you're using, to approach it in a scientific way. Sounds lame or whatever, but you have to control your variables. You cannot use your hair today and then your wife's hair or your daughter's hair the next day on a different blade because you're not gonna get the same results. You're not testing the same way. Man, this thing, ooh. It load. Because every hip body's hair is different. So if you're gonna use that test, make sure that you use the same exact hair all the time. Uh, some people get it from a brush. Some people use a shaving brush. Um, leg hair, arm hair, all that stuff. All right. What do you guys use? So, if you see in my channel, for bevel setting, I test with the nail. A lot of people use other methods. The nails proven for me. It's what I like. Some people use a microscope. That's fine. Um, again, if you use a microscope. Control your variables. 
always place the razor the same way with the same light at the same angle. A light will cure your false, false positives. <laughs> it might look like all the previous stones serrations as you're going through progression. Are gone. So if you use microscope or a loop, use the same angle, play with it. I found out that the more you hone and hone and hone and hone, the more you start reading the stones, the less you have to look at the edge. What I refer is when I'm in my 4,000 grit, a little bit more here. Um, I used to go with a loop, and make sure that that edge was clean from the 1,000 serrations. Now I don't, I don't anymore because I know how it feels. I know how that edge feels on the honing. Um, I know how the blade acts, I know how it sounds, all those things are super important. And then I make a determination to go to the next stone. I'm gonna rinse this off, I'm gonna wrap this up. Ah oh, man, this soap is so nice. Like it's so slick still. Um, now, the one thing I still do sometimes, a lot of times is, how do I know when I move from the AK to my finishing stone? So the AK for me should, before you move to a 12K or a 10K or whatever, that AK should have a, sh a shave ready uh, uh, edge. It should be able to shave you just fine. So with that being said, what I do is I go to my leg, put my leg like this, my leg, hairs, and I go like this, up um, or down. If the razor is catching hairs and they're just doo -doo 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 effortlessly without touching it's kind of like my own hanging test that is ready for my post finishing stone. <laughs> my finishing stone. My 12K, 15K, whatever. Um, I still do it once in a while. I don't do it as, as, as often. Woo! This thing is powerful, it's caffeinated. <laughs> It's like a shot of espresso in there. Oh. Let's see. You guys can pause it and read it. <laughs> this thing is awesome. So there you guys have it. Let's recap. The best way you know a blade is shave ready is to test it. Test it in your face. My recommendation is always control your variables. So if you're testing blades, try using the same soap a soap that you enjoy, like a super slick one that you like, and then test every single razor that you're doing. Shave with that one soap, right? Shave using the same 
face preparation, you know, that way it tells you the the only variable is the razor. And obviously the stones that you're using, the method, but your face is as close as possible as your last shave with the same soap, with the same brush, all that stuff, right? That, my friends, is, ooh, this is nice. So, that right there is how I test my straight razors. Now, to know when it's uh, past my, uh, when the bevel is set, and then from there on, I usually just know when to move to the next one. I used to take a 6CX loop and look at the edge and make sure that the serrations are gone, but I don't do that anymore. Um, after the AK, I sometimes still do the leg trick. You guys can do whatever you want. You can just do it on your hand, on your arms, whatever. Just make sure that you're constant. And then best part is when you have a shave that is just perfection. So thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment. Tell me, tell me how you test your razor all the way through. Leave me comments. If you don't know already, I interact with everybody and I, uh, I will <laughs> try my very best to answer all the comments. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.